Hello, comrades. This is the first part in a series reading from my booklet, Lessons from Georgi Dimitrov. If you don't know who Dimitrov is, give him a Google after the video and check out the description for links. Dimitrov helped lead the first armed uprising against fascism in history in Bulgaria during the 1920s. Need I say more? Today we will start with the first chapter, Introducing Georgi Dimitrov. Georgi Dimitrov began waging a personal crusade against capitalism at a very young age. He dropped out of grade school and began working while only in the fourth grade. He went on to participate as an active leader in anti-fascist, pro-worker, and communist movements from Bulgaria to the Comintern. These positions and activities and the repercussions from such revolutionary work would take him around the world. There is so much to be learned from analyzing and examining the life and works of Georgi Dimitrov. In his own words, he says this about himself in his book, Letters from Prison, 1935. Born on the 18th, June, 1882, near Sofia, left high school in the fourth class, worked as a compositor up to 1904, son of the Bulgarian working class, born and brought up in the ranks of the revolutionary workers' movement. I have been active in this movement from the age of 15. For 30 years, a member of the Bulgarian Communist Party. End quote. Comrade Dimitrov, through his actions and writings, can help provide a clearer insight as to what fascism is and how we can successfully confront it under many different circumstances, no matter the exact makeup of the state and political system. His dedication to the cause of Marxism-Leninism is apparent in his lifelong commitment to leading the fight for workers' liberation, as we can see by his many leadership positions and his full-time commitment to pushing the Communist Party and party ideals. We also get another inside look into the minds and lives of many communist leaders during the life of Dimitrov. Dimitrov gifted us with letters, speeches, and especially an impressive, well-written, detailed diary, which contains docu which, con which documents his interactions, meetings, ordeals, important decisions, theoretical discussions, and even the relationships among the communist leaders of the time, such as Molotov. Stalin, Mao, Tito, the Politburo, the Central Committee, the Comintern, and so many other international communist leaders and bodies. Not only will this booklet examine what Dimitrov has to teach us, we will gain insight into those who taught and worked alongside comrade and colleague Georgi Dimitrov. By studying the life and collective works of Dimitrov, lessons both small and large can be learned from his wisdom and experience. Teachings that may further our understanding of the historical and political decisions and especially lessons that hold relevance to us organizing in the modern world. His advice was used to help liberate people from around the world from the clutches of fascism and to advance the working class's heroic struggles against capitalism in all its forms, whether colonialism, imperialism, fascism. To this day, Dimitrov is considered by the Bulgarian people to have been a man of honor, a hero, a teacher, and a leader who they are forever, forever grateful to have loved them and fought for them, with such dignity, firm resolve, and principle. 
This is the end of chapter one. Please hit that subscribe and bell icon for more Marxist-Leninist content. We will continue reading from my booklet, Lessons from Georgi Dimitrov. If that interests you, visit the description below for a link to the playlist that I will update as I record each chapter on YouTube. If you'd like a free PDF copy of the booklet, email me at readdimitrov at gmail.com. R-E-A-D-D-I-M-I-T-R-O-V at gmail.com or find a link to purchase it in the description. Also, please leave any criticisms you have in the comments. If you think I'm wrong or politically or historically off anywhere, I'd like to know. I appreciate any and all useful criticism. Red salute and thank you, comrades.